Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, just set up. We are out on some lake trout grounds today. Uh, Phil and I came out. Yeah, he's in his hut over there. I'm in my hut over here. And um, we're set up on a little bit of a hump here, a little bit of a ledge, and we're going to see if we can't find some lake trout or get some lake trout to bite today. I'm really excited. Um, lake trout are definitely my favorite species to target on the ice. I've been doing a fair bit of like Lake Simcoe fishing, mostly whitefish. Uh, so this is a nice change of pace for me where I can kind of go out deep, target some deep, deep active, hopefully active and um, fast <laughs> fish. So yeah, I'm set up pretty deep right now. May move, we'll see. And uh, let's see what today has in store. It's a big Merc. Ooh, hello. Hello. Oh boy. Did you not get up? No. He stopped. Oh. He's still coming. I'm gonna. He's still coming. I'm gonna just. No, he stopped. One sec. Ugh. I didn't even see him come in the cone because I'm, I'm on chirp, right? Because I was too much interference. Oh. Yeah, dude. I was on FaceTime. Yeah. Oh, gosh. There you go. That's so funny. Oh, he came off. No. There's fish at the top here. There you go. That's not a bad one. That's a little bit bigger. That's a little bit bigger. Do you guys like my setup here? It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> still a little one. Not big by any means. It was really cool to watch him. He came up really, really high, almost right underneath the ice. And I sent my other bait down, and <laughs> there we go, right there. Pretty fish. There you go, my bud. Thank you for playing with me. That was so cool. He literally bit like right underneath the ice. I might switch up the camera because my head's getting a little, I'm getting a little bit of a headache because it's so tight on my head. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we're slowly picking away at the small ones here. Hopefully some bigger ones show up. Oh, my mouth is full of crackers and cheese. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Phil! Can you please come? There you go. That is what we're after. Holy. No, please don't go on my other line. Yo. What's that? It's a big one. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude! <laughs> Finally. Hey, can you reel this up? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, he came above me. He knew I was there. Yeah. I hope I got a good hook set in him. I think I'm on you. Oh yeah, just, yeah, just, just drop it. I see my bait here. <gasps> <laughs> here, you can move the graph over. I took the, I took it all out already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, goosey. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I was eating a cheese in the cracker and I was like, oh, no, no, no. There you go. Oh, this feels so good. Finally, right? It's good. I don't think I got the hook set on camera because I was eating, but it's okay. Oh, dude. I'm shaking. How big do you think it is? I have no idea. 
I have no idea. This is like, I've only been catching hot dogs all day. This is my first like actual fish. Okay, I'm at my leader. Pretty good head shakes. Pretty good. I would, yeah, just drop that rod, honestly. Yeah, keep it open though. Yeah. Get his head through the hole. Yeah. He, won't, he won't give me his head. Let's go! Yeah, dude! That's a big fish. That's a great fish. That's a great fish. Look at this fish, guys. <laughs> Not a bad fish. Thank you, Phil, for helping me land him. Not I a almost problem. proved myself. But that's a that's a teener. Oh yeah, easily. <sighs> oh yeah, let me quickly get a measurement on. I actually kinda wanna see. I've got a tape here. I would say it's about like 14. 30. 31 easily. 32 inches with the yeah. tail pinch. Oh yeah, easily 32. 32 inch. Sure, let's go. I'm going to release him here. Try that again. There you go. Oh, God. That is what we're here for. That's what we're here for. That's awesome. Thank Holy you for helping shit. me land it. No problem. That was close. I was like, okay, where's the You got stuck on the ice for a little bit. I was like, oh my God. Like, guys, what a fish. What a fish. I don't know if I got the hooks on camera or not, or not. Cause I was honestly, it's been a slow for the past hour. I wasn't looping uh, the camera. So I took my crackers out here, started eating. But that fish came up high and usually a high fish is a good fish. Came up high, started reeling. He ate it. No way. <laughs> That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. I did not get a good hook set. That is for sure. He cheated on the fall. <laughs> That's craziness. <laughs> oh yeah, not a bad one. There we go. Another one. <laughs> this was a pure luck fish. Pure luck. Pure luck fish right there. Beautiful fish. Still probably, you know, six to eight pounds. Look at that. <laughs> Swim bait in the mouth. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Sweet. Just switched up baits because I had a lot of lookers on the tube, but not a lot of committers. Sent it down, went through um, a pot of bait fish, and that lake trout must have been fish, uh, uh, chasing that bait fish because I wasn't even paying attention. I realized on my graph that my fall kind of slowed down a little bit. Set the hook, and we had a nice uh, six to eight pounder there. <laughs> Sweet. All right, guys, so that one was on my old trusty uh, lake trout bait here. This bait is absolutely mangled. Um, I use it, I, this one specifically, I used a lot this spring actually for lake trout and open water. Um, but um, <laughs> the reason I think they like this bait so much is just because it has so much movement, so much swimming movement. Not only do you have a paddle tail on the back there, uh, you also have a free swinging head. This is a Freedom Hydra head, free swinging head. So there's a lot of movement side to side uh, when you're dropping the bait and when you're reeling it up. So I'm honestly not surprised that that fish ate on the way down because I've had that happen a bunch of times with this bait right here. Um, but yeah, that was a <laughs> nice little fish. Um, totally wasn't expecting it, as you guys saw, but um, happy, <laughs> happy it happened. Oh yeah, there you go. Came out of nowhere. <laughs> ah, so cool. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad one. Not a bad one, not a bad one. On that swim bait once again. Oh. Not a bad one. <laughs> I'll take it. 
poor guy's bleeding a little bit, so I'm gonna release him right away. You guys can see that, okay? <laughs> that was so cool. Came off bottom. Started coming up, coming up like really, really active. Reeling, reeling, reeling. Woo! <laughs> There's nothing better. <laughs> On that swim bait once again, guys. Definitely a lot of action today. It's a pretty good day. It would be nice to get like one more big one, either for Phil or I. Um, or both, both of us. That would be, that'd be cool too. <laughs> um, but a lot of action today. Uh, really hot in the morning. Has kind of died down, but might pick up here one more time uh, in the afternoon. Fingers crossed. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. That's a big fish. Come on, we got a bigger one. Tell her. Yo, Phil, another big one. Oh, that's a nice one. For sure. <laughs> I don't know if Phil heard me or not. It's okay, we can, we can land him solo. Hopefully here. Ah, I'm just gonna take my transducer out. And that is why you never lose tension on the fish. That is 100% my fault. I. Grabbed the transducer out, lost tension on it, and he popped off. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go, that's how it's done. That's how it's done. <sighs> Another big fish, not, not a giant, but that's a good one. I don't think you can hear me. There he is. actually has the top hook in his mouth and uh, a trailer hook in there but that's a big well guys she flopped down the hole before I could get a release video for you but 
you guys got a pretty good look at the fish, I think. <laughs> yeah, that was a good probably 10 pounder, so that was awesome. <laughs> so you guys were kind of able to see on that fish um, how I get them interested. I have had a couple of lake choke bite where I was just jigging in one spot, but 99.9% .9 of the time, I am reeling that thing away from them as fast as I can. And as you guys can see, they can very well keep up. So, um, yeah, I got the, hopefully the GoPro footage on the graph was okay there, but yeah, um, probably 10 to 12 pounds. Like I didn't, I didn't measure it, but, um, good size fish for sure. Not as big as the one I lost. That one was really pulling hard um but either way feels amazing very nice fish all right guys that is a wrap for today i'm going to slowly start packing up here overall uh fun day out on the water on the ice today um i needed a day like this i managed that one big one um and then that one 10 to 12 pounds lost a big one and then uh, a lot of hawk a lot of hot dogs and um, a couple of that like five to eight pound range so definitely a lot of fish for for us today phil also did really good he caught a good 10 pounder another actually two 10 pounders two like low teens um 10 pounder range we don't weigh them so we're kind of going off based off what we know size wise when we weigh them in the net um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video uh, I'm going to leave links to everything I use down below in the description, and I will see you guys in the next one.